The commands are going to be, are you ready? Okay, that's not for you guys. You guys are ready. I really thought, this is it. I, I just couldn't fathom surviving a brain tumor. I forget the exact words, but it's something along the lines of, do you know a surgeon? You don't know how you're going to feel until you're told that. Life changed from that moment. We were, were really in unchartered territory. There were no dragon boat teams in the South. These guys have never seen a dragon boat before, and here they are registering for a race after three days of practicing. <laughs> we're just going to go and do our best. Do our very best and win. They fight every day. Say goodbye to this. I know. <laughs> for so many of us, they're be a recurrence any time. I don't live wondering when the other shoe's gonna drop because it's just no way to live. There's no difference in how they're treated in the boat. They're treated as a, you have cancer? You know, that doesn't, that doesn't mean anything. No, you don't have to take pity on me. I'm not taking pity. I have cancer, I'm not dying yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you've got flat oh, hair. So oh, oh, do I really? Yes. Oh. I think every one of us feels like we are paddling for every survivor there is. You have to constantly redefine your own definition of who a sick person is. Like this totally blurs that line. I feel, hey, I can do that. There's nothing I can do. When you tell people it's a blessing to have cancer, some people are like, yeah, right. <laughs> but it is. We wouldn't trade this for the world. I wouldn't trade it for the world. I don't have anything to say about cancer. It's a circumstance, that's all it is.